feel better every day The troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the silence of my room I'll sleep all night and get up at noon There's nothing to distract me in my dreams Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a decorate with me on a budget DIY some minimal things and get ready for our transition for summer into fall and get everything looking nice for that time of year. So come along with me and get everything done. that corner shelf, the mantel, the top of the safe. I don't think I really wanna to do too much on the bookshelves just because, I'm sorry, I'm looking at them behind me, or behind you. Um, they don't really have much of a uh, holiday theme to them, they're just very standard. I don't wanna take a lot of that stuff down. Um, I don't know, who knows, maybe I will. Uh, then the front room, we have a table there and like a credenza shelf against the wall and then just a little bit in the bathroom so those are the areas that we're going to be focusing on today all of these things here are super affordable so i got these two things on amazon this was from amazon as well all of these right here were from dollar tree as well as all of these soap flowers back here they're all a dollar so um the most expensive things over here were this from target it was like four bucks from the dollar spot this here was $7 from uh, Marshalls. These two candles are from um, Walmart, yep. And then those two candle holders back there I got on sale when I got candles from Bath & Body Works quite a long time ago. So, um, very affordable. Some of the inspiration that I had for today is going to be transitioning from summer into fall, even though we're still in summer and we're gonna go into fall soon. And I have a very late start, so I plan on getting this video up a lot sooner than I am. So it's kind of like damn broad things, but that's okay. We just kind of roll with it. So we're just going to use a lot of oranges, a lot of yellows, some natural tones, greens, um, and we're just going to make some really quick pops of color until we get into fall when we're going to use a lot of oranges, more browns, a little bit of green, maybe yellows, whites, you know, the typical. So a lot of things that I kind of gravitate towards in my styling or my decorating decor style is like shabby chic, farmhouse, uh, modern farmhouse. So I had gotten these from, I'll pull out the way. I had gotten these things from Dollar Tree in their like, plant section, their potting section, their things like that. So um, these three things were all clear. So I just spray painted this one white since I um, I left these two clear because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them yet. I think I might want to fill them up with acorns, which would be really cool since we have an oak tree outside. Um, but we'll see. And then these were like green glass that I spray painted white. And the idea with these is I'm going to wrap this rope around them to kind of give it that farmhouse look. Kind of like a rustic look. Um, but I have a lot of orange flowers, a lot of yellow flowers. Lots of yellow flowers to try and bring in that summer vibe. And, oh, they're all stuck. So yes, lots of yellow flowers and white flowers. And so I'm really excited to get going on this.
swallow it Take me away to Neverland What colors fade my disbelief And make me forget my memories Rent a car you can't afford Put on a song that we both know Let your hair out in the wind Put the pedal to the floor Flame your light and take a smoke Put your broken rip off, wait for his arm Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down Doesn't matter if the sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the high So I literally just ran out of uh, hot glue. <laughs> so perfect timing. We actually got all of these done. That's all I needed my hot glue for, I hope. Um, so I got all of these nice and taken care of. I believe I want to put these, I'm trying not to do it too matchy matchy. Um, but I like the idea of these on the mantle. And maybe, where's one of these? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> don't make fun of me for my decor style, I'm new at this. <laughs> so, I don't know, I kinda like that. If not, then just these guys. Or two at one end and one down at the other end. Who knows? So we'll figure it out. And then we'll put these guys elsewhere. So done with that. Set that aside so he can cool down. Done with this juke cord, wire juke cord. As far as the flowers go, like I said, this is kind of my idea is to use the yellows with some of the oranges. So let's take out the flowers and see what we have as far as those are concerned. Set this stuff aside. So I have here like a lot of whites, yellows, with some orange stems in the middle. I really liked how long and tenderly these looked. I loved these. Oh my goodness, I love these with like the wooden stick instead of like the green running all the way through it. So pretty. Let's see what's in here. Maybe I would potentially use some tulips too. Oh yeah, you can see here that I take these off. I'll kind of show you how I do it. But this was a bouquet from before. Let's see, where's the ones without tags? all of these yeah so it was all of these that I had arranged last summer 
And see how it's got like all the burnt oranges and the whites and the yellows in there with like the little tenderly whites. I love these. So I think, let's get these aside. What I want to do, maybe, is put all of these in here. That's a little bit better view. Sorry about that. So maybe raise those up there. The only problem is that this goes down pretty far. So what I did in the past was I put a cup in here upside down to kind of boost up the flower stem. So let me go get a cup real quick and see if I can raise some of the center of this up. So he's a little bit shorter, and then this guy is definitely short. So let's try this guy first. That's gonna work. So it kind of allows me to push some of the stems down further on the sides and keeps ooh, some of the stems up. Make it look more full. When I'm not a florist or a professional flower arranger by any means. I just don't want things to be bunched up too closely together with the, the same look, you know. So like this little white guy, I'm gonna kind of tuck him over here so that he's not right next to all of his little buddies. I just wanna see all of the pretty flowers. So I'm just gonna fuss with this just to get it to the way that I like it. That's actually not too, too bad. So what I'm thinking is putting this in the front room with a candle. thought or green guy on there and the candle down here. I don't typically light the candles in there just because we have wallflowers everywhere. Maybe this green guy is not going to fit. my dad's so we just have it propped in here in this entryway I don't want that great because it looks really plain so let's Cute, but I don't think it really goes 
here. Sorry, I've got a shadow in the shot. <laughs> It's really minimalistic. I think I like that there though. And when we do come in the door, I do like to have this area nice and empty just because it's an easy spot to set something down so I can get the kids in and the door closed. So I do want to leave that pretty well open. All right, so that's that spot done. Um, I probably will pull things from here and there just until I get it all where I want it. <laughs> so I might even change this later on. All righty, moving on to the foyer like that credenza bookshelf looking thing i know i want to use this and i have that black lantern with the white light in it so what i'm thinking is three things four things so i've got these are the way pretend like this is the black tower over here Maybe this in the middle, or the flowers in the middle. Yeah, I think the flowers in the middle, or no, I'm sorry, this in the middle. And then some flowers on the end, or swapping them and leaving this out. I don't know. Let's look at the flowers and see how we can arrange some of these. I wanna use some of these because it's got the dark in there so it'll tie in the black really nicely. I just don't want to use a lot of these because they're really flowy and pretty. These, I've got some gorgeous orange, but I don't have a lot of orange left. So let me separate out my oranges so that I can distribute those nicely. See, this was kind of like a salmon. I've got a lot of yellow. So there's not going to be a whole lot of orange in here. So I think I want to save these oranges for this section of the house so that we can kind of tie everything in together. Um, so let's take a look at some of these bigger flowers. So what I do when I arrange is I pop off the tops of some of them, leaving some of the stems, some of the raw stems exposed like that. And then I'll just pop on another flower. So for instance, let's take off one of these and then pop it onto there. Not too cute. Okay. Let's see the white one. Let's do it on the lower stem so that it's got the droop to it. So when I'm arranging flowers, like I said, I do pop the tops off of some of them and then pop them on the stems of the other ones when I'm utilizing the entire bunch in an arrangement, like the first um, vase that I had filled up. But with these, because the um, base that I'm using is so short, I'm gonna have to utilize one of those foam blocks and kind of stick the stems directly into it so that it fits properly and they're not just kind of sticking up too far. So you'll see me do that here in just a second. In that case, you really don't have to pop tops off and arrange them in any sort of way because you're snipping them from the bunch themselves. All right, y'all, this is the area that I was telling you about, how we've got the black lantern and then these two, this area right here, then put the little things on. Okay, so I'm Him in there too. 
really like the jute. The jute just kind of makes it and ties it in. Okay, done. This one's not getting touched. I love this. The ceiling, or on the ceiling, on this mantle, it's kind of hard to really get a good look at what it's gonna look like just because we're such low ceilings. Um, so I'm gonna get all this stuff off of here except for this because it's really heavy. Um, put all of these mugs away and then just kind of get a fresh look at what we're gonna do. So my dad had actually popped in and asked that I keep the mugs on the mantle just because that's where he likes to keep them. So I'm just going to kind of gather them together, scoot them towards the back so that they're not such a focal point, and then I'm going to be adding on my decor. Feeling every day like I'm going insane. Cause you and I are gonna wish for every day. So I'm finishing up here in the bathroom just by placing that rectangular arrangement down there on the bottom and kind of rearranging the things that I had already had in here and then popping that pot of greenery up on top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed having you guys with me here today. If you like this type of video, leave me a comment down below and I'll do some more decorating videos with you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed today and we'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.